So this video is a getting started guide for Microsoft to do. Now we did one last year. This is just a recap of how it works and operates if you're looking to get started. Before we begin, let's dive into who this is best for. I typically recommend Microsoft to do for those who are already in the Microsoft ecosystem who want a lightweight to-do list and might want to share their to-dos with other people. Microsoft to-do is actually a really well-designed application having some great reviews on both app stores. All above 4.5 and it's got a lot of credibility despite a large turnover from Wunderlist. Now to start this video I actually want to talk about the past and Microsoft To Do actually used to be another application called Wunderlist a to-do list application that really was loved by many people. But Wunderlist had to be replaced by Microsoft To Do when Microsoft purchased it way back when. But they call it now the work to play to-do list application. And they've summarized that really well because you can just use it for collaborating with your friends and family, but also to manage your to-dos at work. It is available on Android, iOS, web, and desktop and it does have a wide variety which allows people from all walks of life to access this application. Now as you can imagine uh, it does have some good features, not really some advanced features like you'd expect to see inside of apps like Todoist and TickTick, -Tick. however it does have a good set of features and the first one is an intelligent and personalized suggestions feature called my day and my day is essentially like at the today area that allows you to plan your day and what it does is it brings up personal suggestions that are from all of your lists that you've created that they think might be suitable and it learns from you over time so making intelligent suggestions say microsoft so inside of Microsoft To Do, you can plan your day using My Day, but you can also go inside of Task Details and do a few things. You can add due dates, set specific times to them, and even add subtasks, but they call them steps inside of Microsoft To Do. But it's all easy to be able to add any notes and details and also just be able to add and flesh out your task at any given time. Now, one of the things inside of Microsoft To Do that a lot of people like that was passed on from Wunderlist is a list customization. You can do a range of things when creating a brand new list. You can create a theme on it. You can change the iconography and there's a great ability to change the sort by and a few of the settings which really give you and drill down in making your experience much more customized. The other thing you can do inside of lists is invite other people and that's not just good for work colleagues but also for friends and family so if you are in college or university and you have access to Microsoft this is probably a great application for being able to divvy out chores or maybe even collaborate on some projects that you're working on at university together and you can break stuff down in subtasks and assign stuff to other people which is perfect another feature that lots of people like is Outlook Tasks integration. If you're inside of Outlook, you can manage your tasks with to do inside of Outlook without leaving the experience. And you can also create them there too, which is something a lot of people like, associating an Outlook email to a specific task you're working on. Now, Microsoft To Do is one of those experiences that is a lightweight to do this application and it's reliable and it's from the Microsoft network. It's up to you on whether you find it better than apps like Todoist or TickTick, -Tick, but I would say Todoist and TickTick much more advanced in their feature set but that's what Microsoft to do is it trying to do they're trying to make a very simple easy application for all walks of life um, and as you can imagine with great sharing and customization abilities folks hopefully you found this video useful we're doing a few more Microsoft videos if you fancy subscribing but I think uh, today we summarize Microsoft to do quite well um, if you have any experiences with Microsoft to do we'd love to see them in the comments below especially if somebody's trying to make a decision it really does help them trying to ground down exactly why you use Microsoft to do because that's why some people find it tricky to understand so folks thank you very much for coming along today feel free to subscribe and I'll talk to you again in a future video cheerio